Hello everybody and welcome back to another tutorial video on my channel. Um, today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to edit the spigot.jar so you can inject your own code into there and basically edit the spigot source. So this is useful for a few different things because you can, uh, I know one of the most popular things is editing like the hit detection and if you know how to do that but you don't, like if you know what to do but you don't really know how to do it, this is the video for you. Um, and if you're just learning you know obviously you can still learn from here as well um, this video is gonna be kind of long because the steps are a little complicated but uh yeah so <laughs> I apologize if this video gets kind of long okay so first thing you're gonna do is head over to the Spigot website go to downloads and then you're just gonna grab build tools the last stable build uh, I'm just gonna do that one uh, I don't it doesn't really matter completely and we're gonna be I'm just gonna be te teaching you guys how to do this on the uh, I'm gonna be teaching guys how to do this on the uh, for the for the 1.8 version. So, yeah, but this will work for uh, pretty much every other version as well. And you also, I'm gonna be doing this with IntelliJ. Um, uh, I, it'll work pretty much the same way in Eclipse. So, yeah. So I'm just gonna make a uh, make a new folder on your desktop. So I'm, I'm just gonna call this Spigot, or I'm just gonna call it. We'll call it something. I'll call them Custom Spigot, and then just drop your build tools in there. And and then open up your command prompt cd into the folder custom spigot uh, and list uh, what okay well <laughs> anyway um y you see that build tools is in there so you're just gonna do java dash jar build tools dot jar and then you do dash dash rev 1.8 because that's the version that I want oh I'm sorry yeah you have to run it through get bash so you're gonna need to have uh with that sorry you're gonna need to have git um install on your computer um if you don't have it i'll leave a download link in the description but yeah just install it's pretty straightforward to install so anyway, if you you know it's installed and you right click in a folder and it'll say git bash here get you whatever right so just go get bash here and obviously uh, ls now it'll show that so java dash jar build tools dot jar and then you need dash dash rev 1.8 just so we did last time and this might take a while uh i'm gonna where to go here we go i'm gonna cut it back once we are finished with this because this might take a while and uh yeah so i'll see you guys in a second all right guys so it just finished it took a, actually a really long time and doesn't normally take that long but um yeah once you're done you should see something like this i was just writing stuff in there so don't worry about the bottom stuff but um it should say success everything compiled successfully and it's copying the final jar files now so I'm inside of the code or I'm inside of the folders that I created just to make sure everything populated correctly and it did so we start with our with the build the root folder where the build tools that we initially ran it in it's gonna generate a few things you know it's gonna generate your obviously your spigot and craft bucket 1.8 it's gonna uh, generate the log uh, it's gonna generate all of these folders as well so the thing we're most interested in is the spigot folder and inside the spigot folder we have all of these uh, folders so I um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna um, we're just gonna do a simple thing that's gonna have the player be uh, the play uh, when a player uh, joins we'll set them to uh, we'll send them a message and say fly okay and I'm gonna show you guys how this will work so the first thing we have to do though is edit the actual code. So we're gonna uh, we're gonna go into the Spigot API folder. We're gonna go into source main Java org dot bucket dot um, entity. And we're gonna find and these are all I believe these are all interfaces. Yeah, these are all interfaces for our abstract classes. And then we're just gonna open up our player dot Java. And I have I think I have something else open in IntelliJ right now. So uh, I apologize, but uh, okay, we're good. So, all right, don't worry about any of the errors that it gives us. We are just be, uh, simply writing. Uh, we're just editing the text. We're not really. We don't need to do any of that. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do public void. Uh, welcome. Okay. And that's literally all we're gonna do because it's an abstract class and it's get and it gets implemented. So and let's just write a quick Java doc for this. Welcomes 
Well, welcome so player to the server and that's really all we do if we just save a few times exit it out and actually yeah I will reopen the file just to make sure that it worked obviously uh, here you go so player class welcome it's, it worked perfect so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna back out we're gonna go back into our spigot folder and we're gonna go into the spigot server uh, folder that it gave us and we're gonna go into source main java and we're not gonna m mess with any of the nms stuff the net minecraft server we're gonna just go to org dot bucket dot craft bucket and we're gonna find the craft player class so that is an entity and it should be around here somewhere uh, craft player. Here you go. And you can obviously you don't even need IntelliJ to do this. I just said I just said IntelliJ because that's my preferred ID. It's, pr it's probably the same sort of thing in. It's the same sort of thing in Eclipse, I'm sure. So let's see. Open up our craft player. Uh, our craft player thing, <laughs> our class. Uh, as you can see, it, ex it extends craft human entity and it implements player, which means we have to write our at override class or at override method that says public void welcome that's what we did and what it's going to do is it's going to we'll send him a message saying chat color dot come on oh actually it can't import that i'm sorry uh, uh yeah and, and i don't want to mess with the sdk because that'll change the iml files and that's not what we want to do so we're going to do chat color dot red no, okay uh welcome no okay. <laughs> sorry, welcome to the ser <laughs> sorry, welcome to the server. Okay, and then we'll also set uh set set allow flight to true, uh set flying true, uh set fly speed, and it takes a uh, floating point, so let's do two. Perfect. That's really all we needed to do. If we just save it, done. We can just make sure that it saved. We can edit in Notepad plus plus just to just to be easier and you can see that it's there everything worked so now is the sort of harder part um what we're gonna do the way that this works is the dependencies are handled by maven that's why you see that x these xml files and no i don't want that uh, but yeah so what we're gonna do is we have to have our we have to open up git bash right um we have to cd into the spigot dash api and actually what we're going to do is we're just going to make it easier um, go go into that class that we edited uh in entity sorry uh open up our git bash we're just going to do git add uh player dot java git commit dash m change change to the player class Wow, jeez, sorry. <laughs> yeah, oopsies. Oopsies. Okay, good, good. Um, now we're just gonna do the same sort of thing. We're just gonna go into our spigot server, uh, source main java org dot bucket dot craft bucket dot entity dot craft player. So we're gonna do the same thing. Git add craft player dot java git commit dash m change the craft player class. And that is really it. We have to go into back into the spigot folder that generated for us. Uh double click our rebuild patches dot sh and I'll be back once that's done because that takes a very long time. Alright, so after that's done, um, it'll just close out the shell script, so don't worry about that. Once it's done, it's done. So now what you're going to do is we're just going to open up a command prompt here. And you're going to cd into the folder. And this is where we just, we just do maven clean install. And that's the maven install method and what will that what that'll do that'll take a long time as well um that has to download all the dependencies and stuff so that will take a long time and it'll generate the jar files for your uh 
it'll generate the jar file. So once you do that, you should have a custom. You should have a uh, a target folder with the um, with the jar files inside of it. So just gonna enter. Uh, it'll s enter. Okay, there you go. Oh, where am I? Oh, I'm sorry. You're gonna cd into your spigot, and then you're gonna clean install, and it'll start to build. And uh, yeah, so I'll see you guys in a second once that's done. Alrighty, so that finished up. Um, everything was good. Build success. So now what we're gonna do. Uh, I'm just gonna. Uh, Close that out. Um, recycle in quick. All right. So now in here in your uh, in your spigot server directory, you should have a target folder that has three jars, two or three jars. That actually, just, uh, it doesn't actually. It could be two or three, depending on your computer. But it should be three um, if you'd followed most of what I did. But anyway, so um, you should have your spigot. Well, you should have this file. If the, no matter what you have the spigot 1.8 uh, file and then you'll have the spigot api oopsie spigot api target and you'll have the shaded jar and the normal jar the shaded jar just includes all the dependencies and you can see it's a much bigger file but what we're going to do is i'm going to drag out uh the jars that we want i'm going to drag them out to my desktop uh, here, just move this over here. Uh, server target. Move that there. Where'd the other one go? Uh, here we go. All right. You know what? We're, um, we're not actually even gonna need those. So let me open up my test server. I have some of my old plugins in here. Yes. Uh, I'm just gonna delete that. Delete that. Uh, and let me just go ahead and get rid of my plugins. There we go. All right, so we're just gonna drop those two in there. Change the spigot to uh, I'm just gonna do spigot dot jar or start dot bat. We'll edit that. Okay, that's already right. Sweet. So um, now we're gonna go ahead and I already set up a mini plugin for us to do this in, but um, yeah. So we just go into your project structure. Uh, modules, dependencies, add our jars or directories, go onto our desktop, and then I have it obviously in our server test servers. Pl uh, shoot, what? Oopsies. Uh, jars. Uh, index not there. De oh my God, sorry. Jars or directories. <laughs> um, desktop, test server, and add the spigot dot jar there we go okay apply and okay and I'll index um, okay now we're going to extends uh, Java plugin and which also have it implements listener Shoot. All right, my computer's kind of lagging for a second all right public void on join player join event e uh, e dot get player dot welcome and you'll see that method is already there and we're good so we have to obviously register our, our public yeah uh, we have to register our listeners so I'm just gonna right click on enable uh, bucket dot get uh, sorry get get server not get scheduler get server dot get plugin manager dot get error dot register events this and this sorry uh, and I already wrote the plugin dot yml and that's pretty much all we're gonna need uh, we have to quickly do we have to do our build our artifacts jar module dependencies main cloud doesn't matter um, yeah um, here we'll, we'll edit that make sure make it uh, go right into our server that'll probably just be easiest just apply not the extracted spigot dot jar because that'll just be annoying um, make the file size bigger than it needs to be all right so we, oh god what's happening all right build build artifacts and build 
and uh, I will cut this clip, and I will see you guys in the game. Alright guys, so I'm just going to go ahead, I loaded up the server, there isn't any problems or anything. I'm just going to go ahead and join the server, and as you can see it says, welcome to the server. I can fly, and yeah, so, and I'm just going to prove this that it works, I did test this before, but um, yeah, so you see, I, I'm, in, I'm in survival, I can't fly, but now if I go back and I rejoin the server, I can fly. And I can fly a little bit faster than normal, actually, I don't know if it's, you can really tell the difference because I'm using Laby mod but uh, it does work and you can do a whole lot of things with by editing the server jar it really does help it's really useful um, for specific things I mean a, a lot of things you can just do with the plugins which you should probably stick to doing as this will break uh, when, when you upload your uh, update your spigot and you'll have to regenerate the patch each time but um, uh, otherwise uh, if you're doing if you know what you're doing and you just needed help editing the jar, then that would help actually. Th this would help. Uh, this is just for trying showing you guys how to edit the jar and what you need to do. The rest is really up to you guys what you want to edit. And uh, yeah, so thank you guys for watching. I really do appreciate it. I know this is a really long episode, so uh, um, thank you for <laughs> watching the whole thing if you got here. And uh, yeah, peace out. I'll see you guys next time.